Good morning. Happy Monday. Welcome to another week in my life. If you are new here, my name is Ellie. I'm 28. I said I was 29 in my last video and that's just not correct. I'll be 29 in May, but I post week in my life videos from New York City. So if that is something that you're interested in, click that subscribe button. But anyway, Welcome to another week. It's going to be pretty standard going into the office, probably tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday. No weekend plans yet, but I'm sure some will come up, but I'm going to take you along for all of it. So let's get into it and start off the day by going to get some coffee. Long time no talk. It is Tuesday evening. It's 712, but honestly, I have been so busy with work. I haven't even had time to think about picking up my camera and recording but I'm checking in now and that's what's important. It has been a busy two days of work, but I feel like things are finally starting to get into a good rhythm with some campaigns that I've been working on. So we are feeling good. I am making dinner right now and that's what inspired me to hop on and talk to you guys because this looks so good. I'll show you when I pull it out of the oven, but it is a, oop, that's my dryer, not the oven. It is a Hawaiian barbecue sheet pan recipe. It is chicken, bell pepper, red onion, pineapple with a Hawaiian barbecue sauce. And oh my God, I'm so excited for it. I'm gonna go put my laundry away, but then I will show you this recipe once I pull it out of the oven. Okay, I don't claim to be a chef, so the presentation's not great, but it looks so good. And the best part is that it smells even better. So I am about to devour this. Good morning. Um, I'm finally waking up before work to go to the gym. I've been so bad about it this week, but I really need the endorphins and the energy burn. So we're off and I'm taking you along. Hi, I'm back from the gym. I have my coffee and I just sat down to work. I wanna talk about what I did at the gym. I don't know if other people are doing this. I'm sure it's like already a trend or a challenge on TikTok, but obviously I'm a fan of Taylor Swift and I think it was in her Time Person of the Year article that she mentioned while training for the Eras Tour, she gets on the treadmill and she runs while singing the fast songs and then walks while singing the slow songs and that's how she like preps for the tour. And I was like, okay, I like to run, but I need motivation, so. I got inspiration from that and I am going to do that era by era and just like add on. Obviously I'm not singing out loud, it's a gym full of people, but just like listening to the set list from that era. I started with Lover today, which is four fast songs, two slow songs. I did a 2% incline and ran at a four and it was like a 15 minute pace. I ran for like just under a mile and then walked for like... I don't know, maybe a quarter mile, but it was so fun, so easy, a lot easier than I expected for not having been like actively running since my little heart scare. So I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm probably gonna do Fearless and Speak Now together since they're like shorter eras, but super fun. If you've seen people do this, let me know who is because I think it's like such a fun way to encourage yourself to work out on the treadmill and get cardio in if you're a Swifty. But anyway, I, like I said, just sat down to work. I have a day full of meetings, which is gonna make the day fly by, I'm sure. And then I'm tasked with making dinner, which includes cooking chicken. You know how I feel about that. So we'll check in later. Good morning, happy Friday. I'm coming to you fresh out of the shower, obviously. Um, my hair is still very wet and the bangs are doing some crazy things, but anyway. Um, I went to the gym this morning, wanted to provide a little update on my Taylor Swift training journey, appropriate because I'm wearing Eras Tour merch today. I made it through Fearless today and I genuinely don't know how that girl does it. Like, I was dying. I ran through Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince, Cruel Summer, The Man, You Need to Calm Down, walked through Lover and the Archer, ran through Fearless, You Belong With Me, and then walked, sped walked through Love Story because it's like kind of fast. And I was dying. It was like just under, or just over two miles, almost like two and a half miles, and I did it in like 30 minutes. 
I don't know how she does so many more eras, but anyway, it's a really good workout. We're going to keep going. Folklore is next and it's like all slow songs. So I'm going to have to just like pick and choose which ones I run on, I guess, because I don't want to walk for like an entire era. Um, but that's the journey. But anyway, it should be a chill Friday, no plans, working all day and then a chill night at home. It's raining. It's been raining forever. I'm convinced that New York has replaced Seattle as like the rainiest city ever. It's so annoying. I want the sun so badly and warmth, but you know, here we are. The first half of this vlog has been so boring. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I meant to go into the office. I didn't make it. Next week, hold me accountable. Hold me accountable. But I have fun plans tomorrow. I'm going to see Mean Girls, hanging out with friends, going to Central Park. You know the vibes. You know the weekend vibes. So. I'm gonna work, we'll catch up later. Hi, happy Saturday. I have not talked to the camera yet today, but we took Scout to Central Park this morning and then just chilled for the rest of the day. But now I'm getting ready to go see Mean Girls with Kelly. Michael's gonna hang out with Britain. I just did my hair and makeup. I need to blend my makeup down, I'm now noticing. But I'm gonna get dressed, so let's pick out what I'm gonna wear. I think I know what I'm gonna wear. I have on my base layer. I'm wearing just like a black bodysuit, but I touched the bodysuit part up because I'm putting something on over the top, but then I'm wearing these jeans from Target that I showed in a vlog before. So let me put the top part on and we'll see how it looks. I like it. You can't actually tell in this lighting, but I'm wearing that denim vest that I got from Abercrombie. I think it's super cute. Just adds a little bit something more to the outfit with the jeans. I need to figure out what shoes I'm wearing. So let's do that. Here is the full outfit. I just threw on my pearl store Weitzman's. I'm seeing Mean Girls. I felt like that was appropriate. Jeans you've already seen, top, bag. Wearing my gold earrings for a fort necklace. All right, I'm gonna throw my jacket on. Let's go. Happy Sunday. As you can tell by what I have on, we are getting ready to take Scout to Central Park. He is very impatient right now because we slept in today. It is currently, what time is it? Like 10.30. So we're going to do that. We're going to get coffee, of course. I think I'm going to get a croissant because I'm very hungry. And then I'm going to go grocery shopping. So let's have a Sunday getting our lives together. just got back from grocery shopping and a very special package got delivered today. So we have had the Hatch Restore version one for a little over a year. Maybe we got it when we moved into this apartment. So I guess like a year and a half, but it has a lot of issues. The sound doesn't work half the time. The light doesn't work half the time. And I've been really frustrated because I used to love it when it was functioning properly. And someone told me recently that Hatch has phenomenal customer service, so I emailed them about it, and they, I guess, were able to check the firmware. I don't know how they did that, but they did, and they said that it wasn't working anymore, so they sent me the Hatch Restore 2 for free, which is amazing. I know that the Restore 2 comes with a lot of features that you can't get on the first one, so I'm so excited to set this up. It's really packed in here. And actually they sent me a replacement like a week and a half ago, maybe a week ago. And it they said it was delivered, but I never got it. So this is actually my second Hatch Restore 2 replacement. Um, but here it is. I got it in the color 
putty, I think. I am so excited for this. Also, our old hatch sat on Michael's side, but he doesn't like use it. I'm the one that uses it and like sets the sounds and the lights and everything. So I'm actually gonna switch our lamp to his side. It's like really hard to get this open and put the hatch on my side so I can use it. I'm also so sore from the gym, so my arms just like aren't functioning. Okay, here's the box. Okay, open this little sticker. My bangs are wild right now. Oh my gosh, my arms really aren't working. God, it's so pretty. I love it. I don't mind the Restore One um, like style, but this one is really pretty. So here she is. I'm gonna get her set up and we'll see how this goes tonight. Okay, this isn't gonna work for me. I wanna talk about Mean Girls. I saw it last night with Kelly and I want to preface my review by saying that I did see Mean Girls, the musical on Broadway twice, once with Renee Rapp as Regina. So I know what the actual Broadway musical was like and like the changes that were made from the musical to the movie. Maybe it would have been better if I hadn't seen that, but what was that? <laughs> I had heard reviews that it wasn't very good and I thought that people were just being overly critical. I knew going into it, it was a musical. I knew what to expect or so I thought. I feel like the mark was missed. It was cute. Don't get me wrong. It was cute. It was fun. I didn't not enjoy it, but it did not give me what I needed. It didn't give me what I needed. I feel like there were some miscasts, um, most notably Katie, and I am sure that that actress is a phenomenal actress. However, I think it would have been better had someone with maybe a musical theater background been cast in that role because case in point, Renee Rapp was phenomenal, carried the whole movie between Renee, Janice, and Damien. Like that that was what made the movie. Yeah, those are my thoughts. I don't want to say I'm disappointed because I like I'm fine. I don't I, I don't need a remake. I don't need a version of the musical that I saw on Broadway. I'm good. It was just a fun little bonus, but you know, not necessarily something that I'll ever watch again. But like good effort. So those are my thoughts there. But anyway, that's really all I got. Another boring week. I keep on saying, next week's gonna be better. Next week's gonna get better. And then it just doesn't. But next week, it's gonna get better. I am really actually gonna go into the office this week, probably Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The Super Bowl is next weekend. I'm gonna probably start next week's vlog tonight and then like vlog during the Grammys because who knows what's gonna happen then. But if you have watched this far and you've stuck with me through just like what ended up being such a busy period of my life where vlogs just weren't up to par, thank you. I promise I'll do better. Okay, that's all for now. I will see you next week. Bye.